picture of uh, the Apple keynote, which is going on in Cupertino, California. Um, we could not get the cube there in time. Um, we, you know, trying to you know get there and uh, get finance to go do these big events like Apple, and soon we'll be there. But right now we're covering Oracle. Uh, but Apple's announcement is the iPhone 4S, and we're still waiting to hear about the iPhone 5 and other announcements. Obviously, their operating system is shipping like crazy. The big news there is that the you know, Lion has really been a successful product, and the iPhone 4S. So you're looking at Apple. Yes. Yeah, so they're going through the feature listings of the new 4S, and uh, we're going to continue to get coverage here. Um, if I had Wi-Fi up uh, here, I'd have more access to, to data, so Mark Risen Hopkins is yelling the, uh, the features over the wire here. But so basically it's off on no iPhone 5, right? Yeah, no iPhone 5 announcement yet. No iPhone 5 announcement yet, but, but we still may see it today. So I think if you look or at the screen, Dave, if you look at the, the market screen, market doesn't think for, so. For the folks out, for the folks out there watching the the picture here, um, we just want to talk. Com I'll do some commentary on Apple because really we talked about this yesterday here inside the cube at Oracle, and is that the world is lagging in this enterprise business on the consumerization side, meaning that the user experience and the user interface really sucks compared to what Apple's doing. So if you look at what Apple's done, they've absolutely revolutionized the user experience, the user interface, and even Android, which has some cool features, is so far away from being close to Apple in terms of user interface, user experience, and the iPad, and how they do that is really hard to do. Apple has a, a huge lead on the tablets. I still don't think anyone's going to catch up to Apple for at least a couple years on the iPad side. On the iPhone side, we all know how revolutionary that was. And they continue to, to change the game. If you look at their reader, they're integrating media. iTunes obviously is iTunes, and the App Store has just been a huge success. Apple continues at every single level to dominate on a performance basis of both products and finances. And you talk about the Apple stores. Apple stores, you know, people would thought Apple was crazy for launching retail, Dave. And the, and the fact of the matter is, it's been, it's been so successful. <laughs> successful brilliant. because one, the stores are beautiful, and the products in there are good. And Apple takes huge painstaking steps to make sure that the products that go into the Apple store are good. And <laughs> what's worse, is, well worse or better for Apple, is that they take 50% of the cash. So if you and I come up with a really killer product and get in the Apple store, we have to give up 50% of our revenue just to be stocked in the Apple retail outlets. So it's, it's a double-edged sword. You get in to the Apple store, you make a, a boatload of money on the product, but Apple gets 50% of the revenue. I still think it's a good deal. I definitely would do that deal. Well, and your point about the uh, the retail presence, Ron Johnson ended up at JCPenney, right? They, Ron Johnson's the guy who basically brought Apple to the retail marketplace, and uh, huge. So the news today, John, is that, that evidently Apple will not announce an iPhone 5, they're going to announce an iPhone 4S, same dimensions, uh, I guess, as the four but more powerful guts. So you know that teardrop shaped device that we all yeah. saw, uh, yeah. that evidently ain't happening today. Now, the word is that even if it's not an iPhone 5, the 4S is, is, is pretty peppy. Yeah. I think it's going to have a gigabyte of RAM, it's got Apple's new A5 chip. What do you think that means? I mean, is that, you know, no big deal? Or will people skip over the, the 4S? Um, will you buy one? No, I won't buy the 4S. I have a 4, I'm waiting for the 5. I mean, you really have to look at the feature set. I, have a, I can't get online right now, Wi-Fi's down here. I don't know how you're getting on, but, but uh, I, I, wouldn't, I might buy it. I mean, if the features are good. But here's the thing, um, my speculation from what I've been hearing uh, about the iPhone 5 and iPhone 4S is Apple's kind of stuck in a little bit of a, of a halfway spot here, mainly because the iPhone was primarily d built for AT&T's network. So you look at the, the RF side of the business, you've got GSM and CDMA, so you have two different approaches. Even though Verizon Wireless carries the iPhone, it's completely not optimized for Verizon's network. It's optimized for AT&T. So there's been some discussion around Sprint and iPhone, so I believe this is my conspiracy theory, that Apple, based upon my data, talking to friends uh, in Silicon Valley, is that I, the, the Apple team is really trying to divine the iPhone so it can work across multiple protocols and multiple RF capabilities and transports, uh, mainly because Android supports it as well. Um, so they want to compete there. And why, why wouldn't Apple want to be on Sprint, AT&T, and, uh, and Verizon? So you know, I think there's some design challenges. They might have hold off the iPhone 5, um, for that reason, don't know. I'm still waiting to confirm that or not. Yeah, so that's a good perspective. So you feel like um, the market feels. Mm -hmm. you know, what? Breaking news coming in. 1080p camera. That's, that's a feature that I might want to buy. 
I mean, the, the iPhone already takes great photos, 1080p camera, that's, that's uh, iPhone 4S. Okay, so we got breaking news coming across the wire here, it's iPhone 4S has a 1080p uh, camera, that's the big feature. Same chipset as iPad 2? Yeah. Well, we reported on SiliconANGLE last year um, and then last fall that the major improvements to Apple is going to be very much enterprise-like, meaning you're going to start to see some software increases. So what's happening is that the BlackBerry and everyone else is trying to be more consumer-like, Apple being more enterprise-like, meaning encryption, software for productivity apps, integrating at the software level to be a stronger device. So obviously with the 1080p camera, I think you're going to expect to see Apple introduce a more set of diverse features to support the kind of environments that users are expecting, whether it's work or